Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 95. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class D World Tour. Uh, we're going to be taking part in a Class D Mercedes C32. Uh, I'm quite a huge fan of the uh, Mercedes, actually. Um, especially this one. Even though it's one of the older ones and are deemed as one of the uglier Mercedes, I, I'm all right with it. I quite like it. Uh, so we're going to be starting with Sedona Raceway. Five laps. Sunset Peninsula, Camino Valle de Montserrat. Uh, we got the Le Mans full circuit now. Awesome. Looking forward to that one. But that will be for the next episode if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, New York circuit and then Road Atlanta. Let's get going. All right, here we go. The Mercedes. It is a very good sounding car for a D-class vehicle. It's quite nice. We're driving in luxury today. Surprisingly, this thing's got a lot of oomph for a car that is stock plus 15 horsepower. Like, I didn't think that 15 horsepower would do that much because of the fact that this is already like a 300 odd horsepower car, but it weighs an absolute metric fuck ton. So I kind of assumed that this would not work. I was like, uh, okay, maybe steering and corners aren't that great for this. <laughs> we couldn't upgrade any tires though to uh, increase our grip. Car goes white when you go through a tunnel. What the fuck? See, I'm not normally a fan of cars that are in silver, but Mercedes, that's their color. Silver cars are their color. Yo, Big Boss, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. To the vibes. I don't know. <laughs> How are you doing though? Hopefully you're having a good day, man. Better get the fire. Now give me the light. Own Friday until January. Hey, not bad. How long is that for? Um, like a month and a half, isn't it? Till January. So, pretty decent. Well, a month and a week. Sort of. Oh, I love the interior of this car. This is a nice interior. December, planning massive meet up. You down? Ah... Uh... Yeah, I think I think so. Um, I should be okay, but uh, let me know like dates and stuff a couple of weeks beforehand, and I'll I'll let you know closer to the time. <laughs> don't get too drunk. I don't think I have the money to get too drunk, to be honest. I'll have to get a train ticket down. Back down to uh, wherever. I don't know. Yo, Epic, what up? How are you today? Burn up the dance. Burn up the dance. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Now give me the light. Now give me the light. Now give me the light. Hey. Yeah, I've been um, sorting out moderators and stuff like that. Ooh. Ah, crap. Completely binned it. There we go. But how are you today, though, Epic? Hopefully you're having a good day. Cotto, what up? What up, Mr. Fishman? Yeah, I'll, um... I'll remember at some point. <laughs> if you fuck off, it's in your last name. It says Cod. Uh, I just ended that train there. Wow, and it only took him... <laughs> two streams to notice. I had done that on Monday. <laughs> I can't believe you missed that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough, Epic. Fair enough. Well, good to hear that you've been doing good. There we go, Merc. Up the inside of the Audi. Should have said yesterday. No, because I was waiting until you noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Time to abuse it. <laughs> well, I hope not. Oh yeah, Kado, did I show you this? I don't know if I showed you this stuff. I bought, right, I bought a sachet of Kool-Aid, right? Had one, like, half of it yesterday, half of it today. Apple flavour, which is really nice. But holy fucking shit, the amount of stuff you've got to put in it <laughs> afterwards. They say you've got to put a cup of sugar or a cup of sweetener in. I obviously put a cup of sweetener because I didn't want fucking cup of fucking sugar in there. But Jesus Christ. It's so weird. Like, American drinks are overly sweet I bought that ages ago <laughs> diabetes in liquid <laughs> liquid form <laughs> yo tag what up how are you today hopefully you're having a good day uh, I am having a good day as well thank you very much for asking tag <laughs> it's still owe me three pound <laughs> I will pay you back when I can. <laughs> the ceiling is what's up. <laughs> How's the stream? Can't say long, tired as fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's doing good. Uh, yeah, it's deliberately not on because there's too much time on the timer. Basically, I left it running for about 20 minutes. Um, and rather than taking the time off and working out exactly how much, I said I'll just do one race without the timer. And then the second race, I'll put the timer back on. It's not even like an exact timer anymore. It wasn't after the first stream. So it's literally just an approximation for approximately how long we've spent on this game. I mean, you can do. Or you can watch it in normal view. Doesn't really matter. You can still do a lot of moderation stuff without mod view. <laughs> 90 goddamn hours. I know, it's unreal. 
all of this is documented on uh, YouTube as well. So these are all going up as YouTube videos. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the video that we're recording right now is episode 95. So, Hey, no worries, Epic. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so mod view basically allows you to view a stream. Um, but instead of it being like a viewer experience, where it shows you like chat, stuff about the stream and all that, basically how normal Twitch is, it shows you the basics for moderating. So um, chat, the stream, people in the chat, um, channel point redemptions, all sorts, but you can customize it as well. So it's pretty useful uh, when it comes to actu actually moderating. What tag? I'm not very good at guessing games. Uh, give me a hint on what I'm trying to guess. That <laughs> critical here. Let's go. Is that what I was supposed to be guessing? Yeah, there isn't really much to go on here, but... When it does happen, it happens. And it helps to have the moderators there. Do do do. Do do do. See, I wouldn't have guessed correctly, Tack. I probably would have said you've sold a kidney for. I don't know, an RTX 4090. Something like that. <laughs> oh, the poor simp boss. We gotta get rid of that sim boss. Get a new one in. But the 4090 compared to um, the 3090, when that released, the 4090 is actually very good value for money. To be perfectly honest. Um, the 4090 just absolutely obliterates ray tracing tasks compared to the 3090 did. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, thank you very much for uh, stopping by, Tack. Hopefully we see you again soon. I'm going to upgrade, I'll probably get a 4080. S to be honest, the 4080 is not doing too bad. It's about 20% of the performance of the 4090. Um, for a significant, um, not discount, but much cheaper. Uh, yeah, appreciate it, Tag. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Black Friday next year is when, like, 40 series cards would probably go on sale for discounts just because of the fact that that'll be like getting towards the mid midpoint of their life cycle like their life cycle of being the um what is it flagship Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, to be fair, your graphics card that you have at the moment, you don't need to upgrade at all for a good four or five years, to be honest. Like, that's going to be able to do 4K60 at pretty much every game for quite some time. Like, it has the power. So you probably want to f focus on everything else. <laughs> I had a tickle in my throat. Fucking hell. Uh -huh. um, yeah, you probably want to 
focus on everything except GPU. Because the GPU would probably be the last thing to upgrade it. Especially when you got a 3060. I mean... I'm going to look into, in the future, getting a... Because this build is going to be as it is for the next four or five years. I'm not going to be upgrading. But the plan is to get a second PC. To do the job of the streaming side of stuff. Um, so that way I don't have a gaming... If I'm not gaming on my PC... I don't have a gaming PC on. Because this thing... It, it would suck less power when it comes to streaming. But also... Um, it would then mean if I do game on my PC, I've got the full gaming PC to game while I'm streaming. So Yeah, like, I have a couple of expensive bits of clothing, but I don't bother with expensive clothes. Like, I'm fully understanding if you like expensive clothes and you enjoy that and that's your hobby kind of thing. By all means, my hobby is expensive tech. I spend money on expensive tech quite a lot, so obviously not over the past, like, six months, but tech is my hobby, so people who whose hobby is buying expensive clothes and whatnot, suit yourself. Doesn't bother me. But, personally, I wouldn't do it, because... Obviously, I'm not looking for expensive clothes. I don't want, like, a symbol status of, Oh, look! He's got a t-shirt that costs him £300. Wow! Well, no, I don't care. I could be running around in something that cost me a tenner from Primark, and I would not care. Like a £4 pair of tracksuit bottoms, fucking £3 t-shirt and whatnot. I, I would not care. It doesn't bother me as long as it looks all right. So. And again, like, if you like spending £650 on a Gucci bag, spend £650 on a Gucci bag. I know that I wouldn't get any more use out of an expensive bit of clothing than I would out of a cheaper set of clothing. Like, I'm still going to use them both exactly the same. Same as if I got an expensive pair of shoes and a cheap pair of shoes. I'd still use it the same. So I obviously get the cheaper version. Obviously this shirt, if I was to buy it like, if it was a legit shirt, it would cost me like a good 60, 70 quid. But I bought it fake knockoff for about a tenner. Again, it doesn't bother me. Because what that means is with that 70 quid, I can buy seven good-looking shirts. Because that's all, all it is to me. Is something... Ah, that looks good. I'll buy it. So with that 70 quid, rather than buying one real good-looking shirt, I can buy seven good-looking shirts, you know. It, and that's what my brain sees. I mean, 120 is a decent discount on that original price, to be honest. Um, when it comes to... Uh, what's it called? When it comes to me doing... Yeah. I lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something else as I was talking and my mind's just like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Cotto. 
My mind's just fucking had a brain fart. Let's go. So basically, I, I just need to not shift out of fourth. Yeah, we'll do Warzone 2 later. Probably 10. After 10. Because even though I'm finishing, I still have food to eat. So. But I've obviously done the stream earlier because I'm hoping that I can get on with it. Um, and get all my stuff done by half eight. So, recorded and thumbnail. Got all my thumbnails by half eight. That's my plan. This drink literally looks like Hulk's jizz. It's just so unappetizing. The look of it, it's just horrendous. It tastes like apple though. <laughs> uh, I, I really do not understand. Um... Like, honestly, I don't understand Kool-Aid. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, I understand, ah, you put a sachet of this stuff in, you've got a drink. But to have to then put a cup of sugar into two litres of water to be able to taste the stuff seems a bit backwards. Like, I didn't think you had to add sugar for you to be able to taste things, but apparently you do. In America, anyways. Yo, what up, Zeno? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Back, backs hurt from carrying a basketball match yesterday, but we could. <laughs> yeah, I was carrying that bitch so badly, I broke my back. <laughs> That's amazing, though. Yeah, I I remember um I think the last time I did anything related to basketball was in year seven, I think. That was back when I was in my first secondary school. I went through three secondary schools. Um, which is kind of mental. Um, yeah, so... Basketball was pretty much... It was so weird, because... It was like an old school school. Like, you know, when you look at, like... Movies from, like, the 2000s... And it's, like, your typical high school in America and everyone's just in these white shorts and white t-shirts and all that. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing we're allowed to wear. Um, kind of glad that the second school, secondary school that we went to, that I went to, actually had like custom PE kits. Sure, it cost money a, a, a fair bit more money for them but at least they weren't fucking basic ass <laughs> 1980s school kind of vibe but yeah basketball's quite was quite a intense sport because you're constantly like almost like crouched over moving from side to side jumping up and 
It's just everything that's not comfortable. Something just touched my arm. Like a spider or something. Hey, good bit of prodigy. The day is my enemy. The night, my friend. Do you know the one sport, right? That I was amazing at? Like, I fucking excelled in it. That was badminton. And fucking tennis. Like, I have no clue why, out of all the sports, right, I hated... I hated football. It's horrible. Hated... Um... What else did we do? We have football. Basketball. Uh, like running stuff, all of that. Table tennis was one of them as well. Terrible at table tennis. But you, me with a badminton racket, shuttlecock, fuck you. I did make all the dick jokes though, when it came to the shuttlecocks. <laughs> so what's that thing in your hand? Yeah, it's a cock. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why I still find that amusing. <laughs> oh, I'm mentally a child still. <laughs> but yeah, handball was another one. I remember that. I've, yeah, we used to do that. I was terrible at it. But tennis, tennis, I was god tier at. Like, I went to do, like, tennis lessons for a while. And I kid you not, don't think I needed them. Like, I had this natural... Like, if I was to do it now, I wouldn't be able to do it. Because I can barely fucking run. <laughs> I'm fat. But, um, no, I thoroughly enjoyed tennis. Big time. And obviously, badminton is one of those ones where it's like... And it goes sky high. And then you've got to absolutely, like, fucking wallop it. Badminton was a lot more, more fun, I think, because it was more fast-paced than tennis. Even though tennis was fast-paced... You just end up hitting the badminton cock <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> yeah, I, th I I enjoyed badminton as a sport. That was fun. I do sound semi-posh when I say that, though. Yes, I played badminton tennis. <laughs> I couldn't be anything further from posh. All right, here we go. I've adjusted it so that my fans ramp up five degrees later. And I'm hoping that won't do too much to CPU. I mean, the CPU is not warm when it comes to streaming. It's more for when I do, like, video rendering. Because that's when the CPU is at max. Because my CPU... I, I believe my CPU hits about 75 degrees Celsius. While it's rendering. And that's on max load. So yeah, I suppose it's got some headroom to lower the fans a bit. Because the CPU only auto shuts off at 100 degrees. So you think you're only about three quarters. Um, that's not how temperatures work. <laughs> but you are pretty much like... You got 25 degrees of headroom there. Suppose I could have it come on full blast at 5 degrees later. It won't do much damage. Not bad.
I don't think we've done uh, this track in this direction yet, so this is actually pretty cool. And we've obviously got the full Le Mans circuit coming up as well. Come on, you got this. Get down the hill. There's no way that's just gone up to 35 degrees Celsius. No way. Bollocks. <laughs> I've hit the wall. How the hell is that already ramped up like that? I've got no fucking clue what it's doing. Not bad. <laughs> Sorry, keep it going. Ah, I got a bit wide there. Oh, my watch has just started going off. Everything's going wrong. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Crap. Let's get back on track. Oh, that's much better. It's not ramping up as crazy. Do you know what I want to listen to? Not this. Oh, G-Force has got an update. For my graphics card. Nice. Appreciate it, NVIDIA.
chip. That wasn't an ideal corner there. It's a body shock electricity. It's a body shock electricity. This is a tune. Horizon Two had one of the best soundtracks. Yo, M1, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Ow! Just stub my toe. Feel it. I love it. Energy. I'm doing good, M1. I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking, man. Okay, what up? How are you today? Hopefully having a good day. <laughs> Energy. <laughs> Energy. Between you and me, it's a body shock. Electricity. This is a tune. Is my, um, I've just realized. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's fucking controller. <laughs> and the brakes. Where is... Tidal grabber. There you are. Wasn't actually grabbing my uh, song track. So that you can actually see what we're listening to. There you go. Energy by Duck Sauce. How high do you have to be to sit there and think, hmm, I'm going to make a band today. We're going to make music. We're going to be called Duck Sauce. <laughs> it's an interesting one. I mean, to be fair, there's been like names like Meatloaf before and... Uh... Trying to think of some other ones. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Those are the only ones that remind me of food. I suppose. I don't know. Uh, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. And uh, good to hear that you're doing okay as well. Let's get this fucking race done with. Then we can move on to Le Mans. Le Mans is the one I'm excited for. Pirelli! Pirelli! I was gonna say, this sounds like Pendulum. Skrillex remix? I think I might actually have to look into getting a new capture card as my first upgrade. Not really. Just been busy. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, done. Absolutely rev the arse off of this. Mercedes. It is kind of impressive that a, get a system as underpowered as the 360 was, was able to power through so many games. I appreciate the drink. I will drink in just a moment once I finish this race. I'll have a sip of Hulk Jizz. If you're watching now, you, you need to go back in the stream to uh, understand the context. <laughs> the context of that joke. <laughs> oh my god, it's a wild fish man. You're going to be known as fish man from now on. I'm, I'm sticking with it. Fishy, by the way. <laughs> Oh wow, that's amazing. <laughs> asshole. Only word I can describe you is asshole. There we go, not bad. Saving the ghost. And stuttering through every single fucking corner, I guess. I. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.